Class 10 English Metaphors. Good morning, children. Today we are going to do metaphors. It is a figure of speech very close to similes. You are quite familiar with similes, and we are going to do metaphors today and see its close relationship with similes. Now, what it is metaphors? Metaphors will compare two things. They are going to compare two things, but these two things are going to be dissimilar objects. They are two altogether different things, but they will be compared. Now, why is it compared? Because there is something similar. Some similarity is there between the two hiding behind the ideas. The character of one is brought over to the other. We say that it is a comparison of Two dissimilar things. But there is some similarity between them. And there are hidden similarities. Now, why do writers use metaphors? What is the purpose of using metaphors in their writings? Metaphors are used in order to convey very clear and vivid imagery. So this is a very good instrument for the writers to express the images and the imageries clearly. Children, look at what I have drawn here. M and S. M is for metaphor and S is for simile. Now, what do the metaphors do? The metaphors say that A is equal to B. And the similes say A is like B. Metaphors will forcefully bring the similarity between the two. A is equal to B. Do you find any similarity between the A and the B here? Not in the strokes, not in the curves. There is no similarity between them when you see. But the writer will try to find out some hidden similarity between A and B and will say A is equal to B. But simile will say A is just like B or is like B. Now children, when we say A is equal to B, we don't mean to say that it is literally true. We mean to say that they are equal in idea, just in idea. Now children, while doing metaphors, examples will do best. Now you must have heard of a drama, Romeo and Juliet by William Shakespeare, in which Romeo, the hero, compares Juliet to son. Juliet is a woman. Now, Juliet becomes a son. You are the son. Juliet and son are two very different objects. But there are certain characters in Juliet. The warmth in her, the radiance in her, the power that she gives to Romeo, the strength that she gives to Romeo. So these are the things that you find hidden in the character of Juliet that is just like the sun for Romeo. For Romeo, Juliet is a source of all power. She is the inspiration behind his life. So Juliet is the sun. Though actually, literally, Juliet can never be the sun. Okay? 
there are some words here heart of the city heart of the city heart heart is to be found in human beings and city is not a living thing but the heart of the city does convey certain idea just as we have heart in the center of our body so also does the heart of the city indicate the center of the city in the middle of the city now look here foot of the mountain the foot of the mountain mountains don't have feet human beings have foot feet so foot of the mountain will be the beginning of the mountain when you go from down upwards the starting point then you must have sometimes heard of people storming out when mother is very angry she storms out of the room when mother is very angry she storms out of the room it means she is going out of the room but the manner of her going out of the room is just like a storm very violent turbulent very strong very forceful so this is storming out likewise we have a hail of abuse you know what hail stones are they fall they pelt at you they don't wait for anything they just strike 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 on you and endingly they keep coming to you repeatedly so it is the hail of abuse now i have some more sentences here children let's see hmm. let's see the sentences the first one thanks a lot you're an angel first sentence says thanks a lot you're an angel you are compared to an angel you cannot be an angel but you are compared to an angel because you have the qualities of an angel an angel is a good uh, no not a person angel is good angel is loving full of virtue so you have those qualities of an angel in you you are an angel because you have helped me maybe then look at number 2 the people in the station are just a bunch of sheep are just a bunch of sheep people are compared to a bunch of sheep you can say a flock of sheep also but here it is used as a bunch of sheep it can also be called a bunch of sheep because the the uh, sheep gather in a bunch they collect together and without thinking without any reason they'll just do what others do they don't act logically they just follow the leader that's all so these people in the station are compared to a bunch of sheep mother is a busy bee mother is so busy that she's just like a bee she does one thing and then the other she goes here she goes there and everywhere she goes there is full of work and work to be done alone then number 4 this is this is a sour friendship a friendship which is sour sour has got to do with taste but this friendship is compared to a sour taste two different things put together forcefully it means that the friendship is not very good milk turns sour it means it is not tasty it is going bad spoiled so the friendship is no longer good all the world's a stage and we are actors and actresses all the world is a stage the world is compared to a stage the world is compared to a stage and we the people on the world are just like actors and actresses are compared to actors and actresses it means we are on the earth and we play our part and go rohit is a michael jackson of our school 
Rohit is a Michael Jackson of our school. Now, Rohit cannot be Michael Jackson and Michael Jackson cannot be Rohit. But Rohit is a Michael Jackson of our school. Maybe Rohit is able to sing and dance the way Michael Jackson does. My father is a Hitler. My father is a Hitler. My father and Hitler are two different personalities. They are two different personalities. But there are certain characters of Hitler in my father. The qualities of Hitler, the characters of Hitler are there in my father. He is the lion of the town. He is compared to lion. So in the town, he is so full of courage. He is so ferocious that he is just like a lion. So now I'll give you some assignments. In your first lesson of your English reader, there are some words. There are some words which are used metaphorically. So, after reading the letter, a letter to God, please find out how they are used as metaphors. First one is clouds, next raindrops, next hailstones, next locusts, next an ox. So, uh, I have picked up these five words, five rather objects which are used metaphorically in the lesson, a letter to God. And uh, please see how they are used and you try to make one sentence using them as a metaphor. One sentence with clouds, another with raindrops, another with hailstones, another with locusts, and another with an ox. So this is your homework. I hope I have helped you a little in understanding what a metaphor is. Go ahead. Thank you. God bless you.